go, 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 so Eh, tong sayo! You know how many times people say things like, close your eyes, visualize with me, it's five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now. What does your house look like? What does your car look like? Imagine having a house with a swimming pool, and it's a four-story, you got elevator, you got this view, you got... Okay, that's great, but how about we do it a different way? Close your eyes, go twenty years from now, and you don't do nothing. You stay the same as you are today. How many divorces you got? What happened to your family? How about the people that said you're gonna quit and they say, I told you so. Every single time you have to appease to their opinion becoming factual because you gave up on your dreams. Say, that's the real exercise. And if you're okay with that, keep living life the way you're living. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. You don't have to work hard, you don't have to eat right, you don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win, you don't have to be a success in life. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice, they don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. You gotta get tired of losing. At some point, you gotta be fucking tired of not being number one. And you gotta fucking play angry. And I play angry. You gotta work every fucking day. It doesn't end. Just all pissed off for greatness. Just if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. I can't relate to lazy people. We don't speak the same language. I don't understand you and I don't want to understand you. It's the fourth quarter. Once this year's over, you can't go back and add nothing to it. What kind of competitor sees the finish line slows down? Hear what I'm trying to tell you? Clothes, 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 clothes. Why? Because the world treats you different when you close. The world treats you different when you can finish. Well, much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. You look for excuses. Look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse. Well, the winner looks for the solution, man. Why don't we put the energy into the dreams that can be? The reason why you're doing that, if you are, you're not working hard enough, you're not studying hard enough, you're not throwing in the midnight oil every night, which prevents you from staying awake in the midnight hours later in life wondering what it could have been. You erase that sh through all this f***ing payment, guys. It's free. You don't need to shoot up for it, you don't need to snore, you sweat for it. And then when you leave here, it's an abdominal will, it's been nurtured. You don't think about second place. You think about first. And then a legacy. And building the gap between you and every other f***ing person. Those times when you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing. Everybody's living off the hope factor. They hope the water's never cold. They hope the water's f***ing good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water's cold. I wish the f***ing rain. When the end is unknown, and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who the f*** you are.